Hey, what's up? Welcome back. This video is a follow-up of the previous video where I talked about how to create a generic list. So here it is right here, nice and simple, nothing too crazy. This video, we're going to be talking about some common methods you might want to use. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So we already talked about grades.add. That's kind of like the basics. That's what you need to, to pretty much do anything. This is how you add elements. So you add a 30 in there and we can access index two and you can see we get 30. So it's going to append this value to the list. So our list right now is going to be 5, 10, 30. But another super useful method is actually grades uh, dot insert. And here's what this is going to take. It's going to take an index and the item. So if we take an index that's already taken, so for example, if we take index 2, what's going to happen? Well, it's actually going to shift everything over, which is super handy. So for example, we'll throw a 15 in here and we'll print index two. We'll also print index three just to see what we got. Running this thing, you can see 15 is now index two and 30 was moved to index three. So it's super dynamic. It's really easy to basically add to the end without having to worry about size limitations. It's also very easy to insert stuff in the middle without having to shift everything over manually or doing anything crazy. Now, if you want to just clear things out, you can say grades.clear. That's just gonna delete things. I mean, I guess that's useful if you need to start fresh, but you could also just create a new, ugh, things are exploding, so let me explain. So you can say clear if you wanna get rid of everything, but you could also just create a new list or assign an empty list to the list as well. So the reason this is exploding right now is because we're trying to access an index that doesn't exist and we get an index out of range exception or technically an argument out of range exception. So ignore this and let me show you what I mean. Instead of doing a clear, you can also just say grades equals new list int. So I found this article on which one's faster and the definite conclusion is that it's impossible to answer. So hopefully that makes it clear whether you should do dot clear or assign a new list. I guess it really doesn't matter. All right, let's see what else we got. Gonna get rid of that junk. We can remove an element, so we can remove it using this one here, which is going to take the item, and then we could also remove at, which is going to take an index. So if we remove an item, it's going to find it. So for example, we can remove the element 10. So let's see what's happening here. We start with 5, 10, 30, and then we inserted the value 15 at index 2, so it's going to look like this. And then what we do is remove the value 10. So this should be our collection here. Let's see. We go index zero through two. We get five, 15, 30. And just to be extra sure, let's just check index three to make sure we get an exception. And we do, so that's pretty cool. All right. So we've been writing out each one index by index. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna be talking about iterating through these here pretty soon, but right now I'm really just focusing on these methods so I don't wanna to get too off topic. The next video we're going to learn some more methods for like searching and other stuff like that so it's gonna be pretty cool so check it out please be sure to subscribe and i'll see you then